Hello everyone, Eric Catcher with Century 21. And wow, this is the craziest market I have seen in all my entire career selling real estate. A seller's market. Certainly cash is king, and certainly we can do our very best to get your offer through. And this is gonna give you five, five ways to be able to get the best chance of getting your offer accepted. Number one is come in with a higher deposit. Come with a deposit, and sometimes if you really, really love the home, and you feel very confident about the house, depending on the condition of the home, you can actually even let the seller know that you would forfeit your deposit and just give it as a non-refundable deposit right out of the gate. Number two is be able to be the appraisal shortage guarantee because there are homes that I've been bidding up that are 20, 30, $40,000, $60,000 over asking price right now. What do you do when the appraisal comes back and says, hey, sorry guys, we can't get this appraisal through. In one of those things, I received a bunch of offers on one of my homes recently that um, they came in and said, okay, so we're gonna give you this $50,000 more. And by the way, if it appraises for less, we will bring in the difference. So that is a, another option and an opportunity as well. Number three is the uh, inspection waiver. Okay, guys, the, you can, if just, again, these are, there's all sorts of other safety nets that you can do, uh, and they're all uh, need to discuss with your, your favorite agent, but at the same time, when you can actually take those inspections, uh, I, if you lose out on a cash buyer, that's one thing, you're going to lose out on another one if they just say, we're taking this house completely as is. And yes, that seems a little bit wow and kind of a little radical, but if that house is the house that you're looking for release those inspection contingencies, release them up front. Uh, you can still maybe keep a loan contingency and various different things still in there for a little bit longer for you uh, to be able to kind of keep the ball rolling. Uh, number four is uh, possession after close of escrow. This is something that is uh, big right now. Again, in the seller's market, the seller can ask for whatever they pretty much want at this moment. And one of the things that we do is that just to come back and say, if the seller needs the, to stay in the home for 30 days after close of escrow and sometimes even go right over the top on that is just let them have it for free and just put in your contract seller to have the option to stay for 30 days after close of escrow lenders if it's your primary residence and you're buying as a primary residence lenders only want to see this for 30 days so it needs to be a limit of 30 days but allow them to stay there for free and make sure you tell the other agent and that and the other side that you put that in the contract so they can see it. And number five is basically coming back with no closing cost. Uh, no closing costs. So when you have uh, your home warranties and you have a uh, 50-50 title and escrow splits and stuff, you can come in and actually just put all that on the buyer side. Again, guys, this is a seller's market. Uh, there's some still some really good values and some prices out there, but there's also some value valuations that I feel that are like way, way super high. So keep in touch with your favorite real estate agent. If they have questions or you'll be able to have questions, they'll answer them for you and give their true opinion of what the value is. I hope these five ways to be able to get the best chance to get to your home come true and enjoy and take care.